myself. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Rocky, what did you want to be as a little boy? What's your dream? Footballer. Mm -hmm. Oh, football. soccer player, yeah. yeah. I play football, I play, you know, you know soccer, it's different than a soccer or football. I play football first, I was keen at football, and then I went over to boxing gym, I found the boxing gym in my local state, keeping fit with football, had my first spa, took a few smacks, cut no, I, I enjoyed this. And from then, I've, the football <coughs> just went, went to the side, and then I just... I stayed off the streets, I just didn't want to hang around the streets and be a nuisance. So I put, all my, <coughs> I put all my time into the gym, I missed out on, you know, that age of 15, 16, 17, where you drink, everyone can go out, and I, I, I missed all, I left all that and just stayed in the gym, stayed, stayed boxing. My dream, I held the British title back in England when I was 10, and that was my goal. And then I won the British title, so I, I was a 10, and then I was professional, I got the belt. I had a world title belt around my waist when I was 14. I went to Germany and got the cut out the picture, you know what I mean? And so that's just what I, I've, I've done ever since, is, is just boxed, put everything into it. Are you aware that there's liable to be as many Brits in the audience as there are Mexicans? Maybe even more, because this is not a Mexican town. Yeah, there's a lot of Irish as well, there's a lot of Irish here, so right. I've got, you know, good support. I think if you go back, we found me thing, I think there's a bit of Irish um, in my family kind of thing. But yeah, they, they say, the support that I've got coming over, I know them all, it's my family and it's big support, and that, that's all that matters. And as I say, it's, the support is going to be great, hopefully, as I say, the, the, I guess some Mexican and US fans from, from the fight and they, they jump on board and give me the support in the future. It's going to be almost like you're fighting in neutral territory because you will have the support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I appreciate it. As I say I appreciate the support from everyone and then, you know, even with it being Christmas in a couple of days and people are coming over spending money to come and see me fight and that's a you know, big, big motivation there and stuff, and I'm uh, very, you know, blessed with that. I appreciate it. In a possible ranking of the greatest moments in Liverpool history, uh, sports history of Liverpool, where do you put a uh, possible victory over Canelo? Uh, well, when Liverpool winning the Champions League final was the was the, was the big one. Yeah, um, yeah, I think I think um, it'd be massive. Be, it'd be big, I think. One of the top five, maybe? Yeah, definitely. I was trying to get some history if, if a Liverpool fight has ever fought in, in the garden. I have to look it up and see if, I, if I'm the first scout set to go and fight there as a, as a world champion. I, I think hopefully they have an open top bus for when they get home when they can drive around the city with the, with the open top bus. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be big, big for the, it'd be big for Liverpool, for my city, and, and also for my country. And, it's Rocky, gonna be great. What are, how are you doing? Today? I am. I, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. What does Canelo do great, and what do you think you could take advantage of of what he does? It's not, you know, he's, he's not many mistakes he makes. He's not a complete elite fighter. Experience. He's been at the highest level, and um, he's for top top fighters now. We ought to start somewhere, and you know. He started with Mayweather and, and, and he's gone from there and I'm starting with him and hopefully I can capitalise on it. Um, my trainer's got that covered, the things that he's seen, that he's pointed out, um, we've worked on. So, you know, the things that I, I seen on my own and Jamie's seen, we're on the same page. So, we've worked on some good stuff and hopefully Saturday night it, it comes, comes, um, comes through. I talked to some of your sparring partners, they said your power is something different. Do you think you don't get enough credit for your power? Yeah, I, I don't know, because I'm, I'm not like Hulk Hogan, I mean, I've got the big muscles, the abs and that, I've got this, this skinny power, and it's all about the timing, you know, the, I think I time the shots well, and, and once I get that timing good, it, I, my power generates, but, um, yeah, it's, it's to say, yeah, I think there's, natural skinny power. <laughs>
Sir, we, we spoke with Eddie Hearn, and he mentioned uh, in a very funny way to say that when you give a proud British uh, a carrot like this, he's going to do everything to have it. So what do you think about this? Yeah, yeah. That's what I say. I, like, I'm just come here um, as an opponent. Like, oh, I'm, I'm here. You have to get in here. I'm coming here as a world champion. I've served. The time and effort I've put in over the years to want to get to this point is, is here, so I'm going to give it everything. You know, I know there'll be time where I'll have to dig deeper and, and you know, bite through and go, and I'll, I'm prepared to do it. I'm prepared to do every, everything I can to, to get the victory, and, and that's all I've trained for, and that's, just, that's all I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, a, you know, I'm a fighter, and if you need to say, but if you dig deeper, will. What is your opinion of the Mexican boxing? I mean, history. Yeah. Oh, uh, great, great, you know, big fan. I watch it, watch all the fights and big fan of the country. I've been there six times on holiday. Uh, I was there for Christmas last, just gone. Um, but yeah, as I say, some great fighters have come, come from there, some great fights. Um, you know, and I'm fighting one and, that, and that's great. I love it. Finally, um, in your social media, you put a photo I like a lot and you put it actually outside yeah. one day. Yeah, yeah, I just mentioned that before, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and it was, yeah, come here on the, on, on a, a weekend break, after, after a defeat, after finding out my mum had an illness, a defeat, I come here and, you know, as I say, done the tour, and one day I'd love to fight here, and never t never thought anything, just got back in the gym, got fighting, keep working, and now it's presenting itself, and I'm here as a world champion top in the bill so what is what a story and what a journey it, it is and I'm, as i say i'm enjoying it all so one day in the day is here yeah <laughs> yeah one day in the day is here and i say to anyone out there in life or in any in sport don't let a defeat define you don't let anything get you down just stay positive keep working hard don't listen to anyone who's saying you can't do it and, and i think i'm a little bit of an example of that start this year the first start this year I had no I had no date. I didn't know where I was going in the career. I was driving the gym for six months, not knowing when I was fighting. I kept positive. I, I was even I was down at some point, like where where am I going with my career? I get a phone call, run over to Germany, fight for a world title, five weeks. Yeah, i would be in the gym, I'm ready, go. And I took the opportunity. Now this second half of the year, I'm a world champion fighting at Madison Square Garden. So, you know, that's what I mean, it's, 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 I mean, that's what I keep saying, I'm enjoying it and, and that's all I can do and as I say, Saturday night comes, I'll be in fight mode and I'll be ready to give it everything. Whatever happens Saturday night, how much bigger does this make you in the UK having fought in Ellen? I think I might be up there with Joshua, I think. <laughs> 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 but, no, it, it's big, it's a big, obviously massive, mark. he's a big fight and it's only Joshua back at home that's doing all the, the big fight and film in the stadiums and... I get this done Saturday. Maybe me and Josh could be joint in Wembley, eighty thousand <laughs> each. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's massive. It'd be, it'd be massive. Um, so I've got to get that done first. How badly do you want to fight Callum Smith? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love that fight. I say I'm. A f I'd take any fight. And that's what I'm saying. Like a defeat to Callum, and then I won the WBA, where I, where we world title before him. Do you know what I mean? And he obviously he's the number one now. He is, you know. And I'll, I'll take that fight. I'm not, obviously, you're asking the question uh, where, but I'm not even looking at that. I've just got to focus. The biggest fight is in front of me on Saturday night, and that's it. And but I've always said in previous, if the phone rings off my management, the fight, yeah, where, when, I'll do it. I, I need to like have fighting. I need to know. I just like fighting. I just like. Having a date, having a fight, and working towards them, and I'd take any fight, but this is the biggest one. Of, if I can, get, I can even imagine, so uh, I'm not looking past it. All right, one more question. Have you seen a little Nick under Canelo's eye, and what do you make of him coming into the fight? Like a little Yeah, I've, I've seen obviously pictures of people tired, but no, I'm not. I haven't looked into it. Um, it's, it's, he's got a cut and. Oh, see what happens on Saturday with it, but um, 
I haven't, I'm okay, so that, that's all that matters. I'm worrying about myself and what I've got to do. But, um, yeah, the cut. Leave it to him, it's down to him. All right, thank you. Thank you.